All right, welcome to the last day of the semester. I uh, hope you do all have a good summer. Don't think about this place too much. Wish I could say that. But, um, again, if you happen to be around July 17th through the 21st and you want to go over to the other building, I will be teaching a class in Android uh, App Inventor 2 to um, the junior high school kids. And um, you're welcome to come in, sit in, help, do whatever. So, all right, I want to quickly go over what I was looking for. I did grade the worksheets, all the ones that were received through yesterday have been graded. So your grades are out there. All right, I will send them to you. I forgot to do that yesterday, but I will send out the graded ones to you by the end of the period today. All right, so I'm going to go over this. And after we go over this, uh, the rest of the period is yours. Again, you know, if, if you say to me, well, Jeff, you know, I, I can get you my, um, I can get you the portfolio, but it might not be till the end of the day. I'd rather have it, you know, so I can look at it this afternoon, but I'd rather have you turn it in at the end of the day than not turn it in. Remember, it's worth 150 points. And since he volunteered yesterday later, I am going to let Ethan come up here and show everybody or talk to everybody. If you're having any problems with linking to your C-sharp stuff, and a couple people said they were, Amin talked to me this morning and said for whatever reason he didn't have the graphic for the, uh, the database file you know, the, the picture of, of the schema. So I just resent it to all of you in case you didn't have it. All right, so the last worksheet. This is what I was looking for for the first query. You know, basically something like select order number as, you know, et cetera, order date as order date. But I was looking for something like this. If you put it in there and you didn't include the time, that was okay. All right. Some of you had zero for both because maybe you had changed them previously yourself. Some of you had four records in here. Some had seven. That didn't matter. Again, I was looking more at the query. All right. The other one was the same query, but it was the ship date, whereas the first one was the order date. Okay. Then with the second one, I was looking for two update statements. Now, some of you only put one update in there because you said, hey, you know, it's like, this one didn't have any records. That's okay. Again, I was looking, you know, for you to set this up. And some of you use current timestamp like I did. Some people might have used now or date or something. It didn't really matter. What I did for most of these, just so you know, not every single one, but for most of these, I did run your queries. All right, I try to do that as often as I can. Usually after a while, if I've seen the same query seven times, when I get to the eighth person, I know pretty much whether or not it's correct. But if it looks at all funky, then I run it. And for your analytics, I typically ran all of them. That's why it took a little longer. I, I spent all afternoon yesterday grading these. All right. Questions on the first two? All right. Number three. For some reason, some of you didn't realize this. Please look up on the screen here. See this? That was one query, right show a query, right show a query. You only wrote one query and they asked for two. One was the number of customers per state, the other one was the number of employees per state. And two or three of you only did one query. You did the customers but you didn't do the employees. Since it asked for two queries and since the questions were worth three points each, if you only did one, I took a point and a half off. And unfortunately for two or three of you in here, that's all you lost, okay? So again, the, the, the thing is you had to say select and you had to have a count in there and you had to have an order by in there. One or two people also did this and didn't do an order by. You know, again, your entire requirement had to be met. If you missed any part of it, I took off points. And, and don't get me wrong, it's not like I'm sitting there thinking, yeah, I'm looking for points to take off. But I'm again looking at this from the perspective of being your employer. And there are companies, if you were to go to work and you wanted a database type of position, they may ask you questions along these lines. 
All right. Number four, by and large, I think everybody did okay on. You know, you were supposed to select the category description and account of the product number in there, and you were supposed to group it by category description. Now, one thing I will mention about this is if you look up on the screen here, not every database does this, but this database that, that I, I stole, all right, that we're using always has the same name for both tables, okay, that you're joining. There's a good chance that if you tried to join something and you used something that had two different names, you were doing a wrong join. Does that make sense? Now, to be fair, not, what you're going to find is not every database is going to be set up with a schema like this. All right, sometimes they might call it name, sometimes they might call it employee name, for example. You have to know what goes with what because when you do this, all, all, all you have to do is join like types of things. The system doesn't care about the names. It cares about are they, are they identical types or at least types that can be joined. If this was a number and that was a string, there'd be a problem. Does all that make sense? All right, so those are the first four. Number five, this was, okay, and I even gave him kudos here. Dominic's the only one in the class who actually did it with a subquery, which was kind of neat. All right, so he did the query within the query. So it says, I could not get the subquery to work. Can the students? Well, somebody did. All right. And I have no idea how much time he spent on it. I'm sure more time than I spent on writing this key, which was not much time. All right. I write the key as I'm writing the assignment. Does that make sense? So I'm sitting there thinking, well, what kind of, what kind of uh, queries could I ask for? What types of stuff could I ask for? All right. So I got 56. Some of you had different numbers again. That wasn't what's important. What was important was that you had a number and then the number of things that met that criteria. So if you did it as two as most of you did, that was fine. But I wanted there to be a date diff. There, I'm sure there are other ways of doing this. And I think I mentioned this to you. If you go out to dev dev, D-E-V dot MySQL dot com. It's got a listing in there. You can put, you can type in, for example, in the search box, date functions. There are a whole boatload. There's probably 20 or so that we never went over. So if you say, well, I did it, there's another way of, yeah, I bet you there is another way of doing it. There's always another way of doing it. All right. So again, I grab that one that he did. Oh, I think I took part of it out, but it had it had 56 in here also and that there were three that met the criteria or whatever. All right? All right. The other thing is if maybe you noticed that, maybe you didn't when I just did this. With some of yours, the stuff came in as weird ticks. I could tell you copied stuff in from Word. And if you copy in smart quotes, you know, that's not a big thing. I changed it. I didn't really care. All right, but just so you know that, all right, again, the reason I'm telling you that is if somebody were ever to copy your stuff into their own system and they copy in smart quotes, they're going to come up with errors. Does that make sense? All right. All right, the next question was very similar to the last one, but it was the smallest. I got zero. Some of you had one. Again, I was more looking for the query. And it's not that the, it's, believe me, it's not that the results were not important. I don't mean to say that they weren't. Of course, they always are. Now, next semester, 
what we're going to have to do is this this Halloween database that we work with next semester. All right, it's a my it's a it's an SQL Server database with that one and the other one that I haven't created yet that I plan on creating for the St. Louis Blue site that I'm going to create this summer. We have to keep our databases in sync. Does that make sense? So I'll always have a master copy of each one of those databases out there someplace so that if you happen to ball yours up where you know all of a sudden it's like geez I, I think I've got some records missing or something you can always go back and get it all right I will tell you too because I'm, I'm, I'm just starting to say things as I think about them maybe you care about this maybe you don't you know maybe your goal and, and again what regardless of, of how you feel about this maybe your goal this summer is to stick your head in the sand and never think about this place at all not think about computers just look at your email and Facebook and, and not give a damn about anything else that's your right all right but I will tell you that probably by July there'll probably be over a hundred videos out there for the ASP.net all right I've already got over 80 videos out there for the class in fall all right because I've been doing those the last couple weeks that's all I've cranked out in the last couple weeks and if you ever want to go back and look at those, you'll be able to also. I'm, I'm where, just to show you, we didn't do a lot of this this semester, but I'm getting more into this because that's what I should have done, I found out last semester with you. But, um, well, I guess I don't have it up anymore. But I'm doing more work with the DOM, et cetera, than we did last semester. So if you're interested in that stuff, you know, you'd be able to take a look at it. All right. I think we did seven as a class. I believe we did. All right, so I'm not going to go over that one. And if you did seven, you hopefully didn't have problems with eight. The only thing I want to mention with eight is if you look here, again, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven tables, correct? So how many join statements should we have? Six. Six. So if you had four or five, it wasn't complete. If you got a really huge answer, like 20,000 records or whatever, you missed a join. There was at least one person on one of these queries, that's what they did. So they lost points on it because it's not a right answer. It's an incomplete answer. On some of yours, I wrote down incomplete answer. All right, so it meant, it meant you, you made an attempt and you had part of it right, but the whole thing wasn't right. All right. All right, on these, on the best customer, worst customer, it's kind of like what we talked about in class. What it appeared to be is, is for most people, for the best customer, it was the one who bought the most, who paid the most money, which was fine. All right, and the worst customer was the one who spent the least amount of money. Again, that's fine too. One thing you have to realize with employees, if you look at the way that these things are connected, it's the employees who took the orders for the customers. Does that make sense? The it's not the, you know, when you say what's the best employee, a couple people wrote down so-and-so because they bought the most. No, they didn't. They didn't buy things. They were the representative for the customer who bought things. And I just want to make sure you understand that. It may sound simple, all right, but you should understand that. All right. Also, there was at least one of you, and there might have been more. I asked for, for comments in here. If you didn't put any comments in, I took off, just so you know that. All right. All right. For the vendor, most people put down the best vendor was the one with the most products. Makes sense. All right. And they put down, or the most categories. What was the best category? The one with the most products. All right. What's the best product? The one that sold the most, or the one that was worth the most and sold the most, whatever. Most people tended to do these the same way. One thing, and, and some of you really went and, and put in a lot more than I thought you'd put in, but when you think about it, and I was hoping you'd recognize this, and most of you did, you can do the same query for both of those. 
the same exact query, except you run the first one in descending order and you run the second one in ascending order. Because I thought some of you might say, oh my God, you don't got 10 frigging queries? No, there are five. But each, each of, the, of the five, you run twice. All right? Now, with employee, there weren't that many of them, right? There was only eight employees. Okay, so you could just look at it on the screen and know that. All right? Um, vendors, I don't think there were that many. Categories, there weren't, weren't, that, weren't that many. Products, there weren't that many. All right? There were more customers that wouldn't have fit on one screen. Anybody have any questions on this? All right, how many people are still having problems linking to your C-sharp executables? All right, so why don't you, why don't you, I don't know if you could need a computer for that, but if you could kind of show, all right, that sounds good. Let me close a bunch of this stuff out. Really all I can go off of is the problem that I had, though. Okay. So. Again, please, if you're having problems, I want to say this again. If you're having problems, and so it's the end of the day, and you can't get the darn things to link or whatever, if nothing else, then you're going to have to get a hold of me. So let's say, I mean, can't, you know, he just is having <clears> problems, okay? And he's like, I can't email this to you, Jeff. It's 100 meg with all my pictures and everything else. And then you're going to have to come in here. I'm planning on being here Friday. I'm going to be gone tomorrow because we have to be in St. Louis. But you're going to have to come in here then on Friday, come into my office, and put the stuff, you know, give it to me so I can put it on a flash drive or something. All right? Please don't set it up. Please. I don't want it where I, uh, I, I don't have anything from you. I don't want that. All right? If you lose 150 points, you've lost 150 points. This is gigantic, yeah. Uh, it's either control or alt. Trey using the mouse. No dice. <laughs> well, it usually works. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. Is it scrolling? No, it's not. It's not handling either one of them. Uh huh. Don't know why. I'll just use a No, I don't use brackets either. So <coughs> yeah, plus plus should work. Yeah. That should work too with the you should be able to use it. Right. Alright. So that's all it looks like. Um what you need to note is from this file path here. Like um, so I have my CSS images portfolio video in my portfolio I have all those link files and they're all linked to my nav this originally was put in this way and it doesn't it does not accept that at all like that's the best way I can explain that will fix that kind of thing. Um, what about like executables and stuff like that? I mean, you guys know how to do that, right? Just go into your bin file. Yeah, does everybody know how to find your executable files? Again, if you don't know, then you either have to ask now or send me an email so you know, if you're yeah. embarrassed or whatever, and I'll be glad to show you or somebody else will be glad to show you. Yeah, you, you you go into the, the folder that's got the name of your project in it. You double click on that. There should be a folder in there. I think it's right underneath it that's called bin or debug. Then there's a bin. Then it's in there. Now everyone should be able <coughs> to open those externally because they do have .NET on that server. See what I'm saying? Now, if, if, let's say it's this summer and Valerie decides she's going to get her own domain. Okay, so she wants ValerieSandbrake.com, which would be fine. 
if, if she gets her own domain and she doesn't have the DLL files, the dynamic link library files that hold C sharp, then other people, she can she's still link to this stuff, but when they try to open them, they may not be able to. But there shouldn't be a problem here in linking to those. Go ahead. Hmm. Yeah, like I said, basically you don't you don't want to see your files like that. It just won't take it. That's it, yeah, I'll show you here. Um, so in my portfolio. Uh, just, you can just minimize that block that's up there. Yeah, okay. So in, under C Sharp, I have it under Chapters okay. also. Their own file there. And then, yeah, literally, yeah, just, that's it. Um, some of them won't. I don't know why. Some of them that I have don't have like this executable they just have like an XML executable okay. I don't know why um, you'll just now probably you, have to you pick have your a different stuff loaded all, out to rank to the rank engine? yeah it's up there and I just didn't know if you wanted to show anybody that I don't care yeah that's fine right. how do I run it off here just here off just of the you, no you want to run it under a browser, just click run and tell it to run it under uh, uh, Chrome or whatever. Yeah, sure. So, yeah, so. Whatever. It'll just, it'll give you that. Um, Got a warning. Oh, yeah, a little warning there. So, yeah, that's it. And then, like, SQL, I have that to a, um, do it under like target blank, that way it opens up in another, you know, tab. Yeah. And then the worksheets are also, yeah, just docs, so, yeah. So again, if you're trying to do any linking, whether it's HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, MySQL, or C Sharp, and you're having problems, you have to let me know. I'll help you if I can. If I can't, I'll try to find somebody else in the class that can help you with it. And I think I said this to you the other day, the way Ethan did it here is fine, but you know, where he had it here, you don't have to go back there. This, this is fine. What he's got up here, there's not no problem with that. But what you shouldn't do is have like 35 links right here. See what I'm saying? That that just you know where you link to. Here's here's six JavaScript. Here's six C sharp. Except you shouldn't do that. That just does not look professional. You should do it with tabs, or if you want to, you can do it with pictures. I mentioned. I know Ivy turned hers in. I think that's why she's not here today. But she's she finished it already. And that's what she did. She used the HTML5 logo. You click on that link, boom. It brings up then the links to your different HTML files. She had the links to HTML5. She had the link to CSS3. She had a link to Bootstrap, etc. And that's fine, too. I don't care how you do it. All right? Whatever way you're more comfortable in doing it, then do it that way. Again, this is a living document. And it, it's funny. I was reading an article uh, a couple weeks ago that was called The Resume is Dead. And what they were saying is, this is how most people are getting jobs, especially in the IT field, is having a portfolio. So I think you've got a leg up on a lot of people who are just getting there. Any more questions for Ethan? So again, try that. If you have problems, let me know. And again, I'm, last time I promise I'll say it. If it's the end of the day and you're having whatever kind of problem, you know, the rank and server goes down or whatever, all right, I'll be here till 2.30 this afternoon. But come in, put all your stuff on a flash drive or just come in with your machine and I'll copy it onto a flash drive. All right. Otherwise, you're going to have to come in on Friday. I may stop in for a couple hours tomorrow, but I don't think so. I don't know what time we're getting done tomorrow. I've been told we're there the whole day. But if, if uh, 
If Charles says it's okay, I plan on working my regular hours on Friday. Okay, we're actually off on Friday, but I want off next Friday so I can go back because I'm still working on my house. All right, so we'll see. No, I, what I'm saying is you can still have a bunch of links, but There's you're better problem. off. You're better off like, rather than just having all those links there, is is like having something where, like he has, where you've got um, you've got something a, that almost like a, almost like having a folder within a folder within a folder. Then here, then your stuff. He's got a link, and his links then bring up the different stuff. Like a drop down. Yeah, a drop down, or like I said with Ivy, she had a picture of the right. image. So. A lot of organized files, you know, that's about it. If you want to look at that, I'll put it up here. Okay, so, all right, thank you. 